Welcome to the overview video on the RDTS, the Rexdog Trade System official four chart setup on Sierra Chart. In this video, I'll go through what's included in the chart book. So first up, this is the standard four chart setup within the RDTS. We have chart one over here, which is a time chart. It is our five minute chart. We'll go through the indicators here in a second. And then we have chart two, which is your small tick chart. We have chart three, which is your other time chart. And then we have chart four, which is your big tick chart. So these are all labeled. Uh, these all have the recommended indicators that we suggest to have on trading the RDTS. If we dive into the five minute actual chart here, this is the one that has the most indicators on it. If we maximize this window, what you'll see here is of course we have the view app and these are labels. These are the things that you can turn off. I'll show you the actual options panel here in a second. Uh, we do have the view app. That is a, a indicator we use within our system. You have the RDA here, which is yellow and then the extreme bands here. Uh, and then you have the fast momentum and small momentum, as you can see here. Also, we have the opening range. Now, one of the things about the uh, chart book here, there are other indicators that are part of this package that are sold at Epic Indicators. Those two are uh, the actual key levels, which includes the weekly open, the daily open, and the previous VWAP. Now, the previous VWAP has not been added yet. That will be added once you purchase the chart book. You'll get all updates. Uh, it's a lifetime purchase. So you do see here we have the weekly open here, and then we have the daily open up here. So it does show the daily open. The other indicator that's included here is the RD opening range, and the opening range will have additions to it as well right now. Uh, it is the standard opening range. We have the opening range high here. We have the opening range mid, and then we have the opening range low. As soon as you start up the chart book, these are the colors that will be. It's easy if you've used, obviously, if you're looking at this, you've used Sierra chart. If you use Sierra chart, then you know how to change these colors. You know how to go into your actual indicators. All you have to do is push F6, and then now you're looking at all the indicators on that chart. And then, of course, you can go in there and look at the actual settings of that individual indicator, change the actual settings, but we'll get to that here in a second. So the next chart we're going to go through is really just the small tick. This has uh, the weekly open as well. Uh, these are Once you have these indicators, these are things that you can add to your charts. Uh, but we have the weekly open here. Uh, and then we just have really the basic indicators for our entry chart, which is really chart two. As we go down to chart three, we see that we have uh, kind of the same thing, the same setup here. I try not to make it as busy with a couple of different things like the opening ranges and on here, for instance, but the weekly open and the day open as well. These are just key important levels. Once again, these are things that you can turn off on a chart by chart basis. It's real simple to do to actually modify this. And then also on the big tick chart, we can see here we have the same setup as well. Now, a few things I'll mention here, you've probably seen at the top here, there is what's called a control bar. This is something that you could create on your own, uh, but, and, and we can't distribute this. There's no way with Sierra Chart to actually distribute this. But what we've done is that we've created uh, a tutorial and we've created uh, the graphics that go along with this. And I'll walk through that here in a second as I show some usage and how this works. Uh, but for instance, if we want to go through and let's say we want to go to chart four and we want to outline our key levels and our actual uh, week levels. So what I do here is I have the line tool up here and then config one for the line tool is set to actually be a strong level. So I would draw a strong level right up here. And then you can see that's set. Now, if we add another strong level here, now all I have to do is go to config two, and now I can add my weak levels. So for instance, I could say this is a weak level right here, and now I'm adding my weak levels. And we can add another weak level here. These are colored a specific way. These are what we recommend within the system. And then obviously we have a weak level right at the RDA. It's about ready to break through the RDA, or it's trying to. And then as you can see, this is a control chart. So if we go back here and we limit it down, we can see that all of our levels are on chart one, they're on chart three, and they're actually on our entry chart, which is chart two. Now let me actually click off this. Now one additional thing that we've added, uh, this is part of the control bar. Once again, this is something that's relatively easy to do, to set up the control bar. If you're not familiar with how to do it, you've never done it. The one thing that we've added here is that we have graphics. So we have both 4K graphics and 1080p graphics, meaning that we've created graphics for any screen in between uh, that looks the best here. Uh, to mirror the buttons that you see here. It's just a better trade panel than what Sierra Chart offers as a trade panel. And we'll get into the, how the trade panel plays a role here. 
Here's the other thing that we've added. So for instance, let's say you want to go to actually chart three and you want to add some of your key levels there. Uh, we've uh, within our system, we've identified what should be a key level that's on chart three, the golden time frame. So this would be a key level here, which is right at the daily open. Uh, that's green. So those are green. So you can see here, there's another key level right here, we would say. Uh, and then another key level. And of course, this is shared across the other charts. So if we go back down, limit our charts down, we can see that those key levels are here. Uh, and then going through and removing that is simple as using the erase tool or erase all. So that's something that, that's easy to operate, especially when you have a control panel like this that has all the common functions and features that you would use at a click. Uh, in addition, I would highly suggest that you learn short keys. Short keys is something that... Um, that is very helpful. If you know the four chart setup, you're already saying, hey, I love it. I want the four chart setup in Sierra chart, awesome. So now I'm just showing you some functionality. For instance, with, with Sierra chart, you know what you can do with these configs. I can take the circle file and then I can have up to, what is it? I think it's 18 or 20 configs. So this circle, for instance, is gray. And then underneath config two, let's say I, I do my lower levels, that's green. So you can have, you can have, you can put multiple configs here and it's as simple as just going here, right clicking on customize control bar eight. And then I can go here and add the elements that I want or take the elements that I don't want. Uh, I could add tool config four, and then I could have up to four different template configs for each individual tool. So it very, you know, uh, CR chart is very powerful in a lot of ways. Uh, so uh, obviously if you're watching this video, you're probably pretty familiar with it. Uh, let's go over the next thing, which is trades. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is we're going to add the trade panel to both this chart and let's actually get off this. We don't want to be drawing circles. And so I'm just going to go here and then I'm going to attach trade to chart. Uh, and then that should show the trade panel on this chart. And then here on what we typically call our entry chart, chart two, I'm going to attach this as well. Now I wanted to include this because this, this is an important concept to get. I'm sure you get this with uh, Sierra chart. You'll notice here on this, uh, on this actual window here, this trade window, we have position sizes of three, six, nine, 12, 15, and 18. And then here we have position sizes of one, two, three, four, five, six. Now that correlates to position one, position two, position three, position four, and position five, all the way up to six, depending on what chart you're on. So for instance, if I go here and I click position one, that's gonna be one lot. And then I'm gonna say, let's say I buy the bid. Order. Uh, and uh, that's actually me there in the voice. Let's actually just buy the market. Order. Uh, Order filled. You can see here, that's, that's entering at one lot. Now, if I click on this chart, and then I do the same thing and I do position one, that's going to be three. And then if I buy the market, Order. obviously Order. that's three positions. So one of the things that you can do, if, if you do want to keep the trade panel up, for instance, maybe you, do use, maybe you do use the trade panel, but you can set up different charts for different position sizes and then use the control bar like this to then buy appropriately or sell appropriately. One of the other things I wanted to share that comes with the chart book as well is we've customized not only the color, the look of the feel of the chart book. So this is what it will look like when you load it up. But we also customize the color of the entries to make it make logical sense. So I'll give you an example of that. So let's actually go to this chart and we'll just go position six and we'll buy the market. Order. So Order we're doing six lots there. And uh, let's just add some trailing stops. So we'll go down to position one here. See, typically I don't have this up here. Uh, I just don't like the look and feel of it. I'm sure I can make it look prettier, but I, I like using this panel up here. So let's put just one trailing stop. So obviously we can do a sell trailing stop because we're long. We can also sell a actual do a sell stop here because we're also going long there. Uh, we could actually sell a limit up here. So do a sell limit. So that would be actually getting out of our position there because we are long here. Uh, and one of the things I love about Sierra chart is that you can drag any one of these, a trailing stop, a fixed stop, and you can drag it and it just resets it automatically. That's friggin' awesome. If you've ever been in a platform that you can't do that, that makes it awesome. Uh, so, you know, you can also add, obviously you could add, uh, we could buy a limit down here. Let's say we want to buy more to our position or maybe we want to do three lots and buy more at the actual 
uh, RDA here. So we can see here it, it color codes your position. Uh, these are things that actually in the manual too we tell you how to easily change. So if you don't like these colors, the other things that you can overwrite these things with your global settings. So some of these things could be overwritten with your global settings. Uh, we also do share some tips. I know it's hard sometimes with Sierra Chart knowing where to go to sometimes change certain things. So in our manual, we have tips on, okay, maybe you don't want this to be red when you're short. Maybe you just want it to be one color or when you're not in profit, for instance. Maybe you just want it to be red when you're short. Uh, so here, this changes the P&L line based on whether or not you're in profit or not. So you can see here we're at a loss. And what I really wanted to share here is that all of the colors have been set. This is what the chart book will look like when you load it up. And we do provide tips and advice in the manual for how to change things that maybe you might not like, where to exactly go, some of the color choices and everything else. So it's something that what we'll be adding to this over the coming weeks is adding tutorials on usage video with Sierra Charts here and there. Uh, just because I know some people are, are making the switch that have been maybe following or, or been a, a trader. Uh, in the RDTS for a couple years and making the jump with me over to Sierra Chart. So one of the things I'd like to do is is, is help you along the way because uh, there is a little bit of a learning curve with Sierra Chart, but one of the things I'm really excited about that you're seeing here is the four chart setup. The four chart setup's in there. Uh, we're working on other indicators that uh, will make the use of Sierra Chart even more awesome uh, than it already is. So in closing, if you're watching this on the Epic Indicators page, you can also find a link on Rexdog Trading as well. But if you're watching this on Epic Indicators, you should be able to see all that's included as well as the price. Now, one thing I will say is that you have to be an alpha member to buy the actual Rexdog Trade System Sierra Chart setup. Uh, if you're not an alpha member, we do have additional we do have additional price for you to actually get started with the training and the actual SIA chart setup. So that's something that if you are not an alpha member and you would like to, to get started with the trade system and the four chart setup, one of the reasons for that is we're just not gonna sell the four chart setup and have to walk people through how to trade with it. Uh, we have training for that. We've developed a trade system called the RDTS. Uh, it's a highly effective trade system. Uh, so this is a chart book for that. Uh, and if you're an alpha member, you have access to purchase that chart book uh, and if you're not an alpha member, you could still get that chart book, but you have to become an alpha member. And there will be a, an all-in-one price. That will include uh, training with Sierra Chart and training without the Sierra Chart add-on. So uh, that's something to watch for here. But this is really primarily going on to alphas right now. If, you're, if you are watching this and, and you're not an alpha member of our training and you're interested in this four chart setup, uh, get in touch with us either on the website, rexdogtrading.com. Uh, or on the Discord server, send us a direct message and ask, how do I get started uh, with the Rexdog trade system? Now, that's all. Uh, it, this really covers it in, in detail. I know I did show some more usage, but once you understand the four chart setup and you understand what you'd want in Sierra chart, uh, you're seeing that this is exactly what you'd want to trade uh, the Rexdog trade system, the four chart setup in Sierra chart. Look forward to seeing you on the other side and seeing you trade with the actual RDTS Sierra Chart official chart book.